Now that we have a read that has a code crow, I'll show you the process I use to see if it's actually usable. First thing I do is B to B. And in that case, it's failing the test because the upper B is flat. And if you look in the printed materials, you'll see what to do in that case. The next check is E minor. This is failing the E minor check because that C natural is very sharp to the B natural. We'd like it to be flat to it, not even in tune, but flat. And this one is very sharp. So it fails the E minor test. Here's A to E. That's played very quickly, and you want it to sound like a chord. I think it does, so that one passes. Next is F to G flat. That one is the worst. It's terrible. It's not even close. You want the G flat to be very low in timbre and pitch to the F, and this one is sky high. It has a lot to do with the resulting tone in a reed, and as you can tell, this reed is not our favorite tone. Evidenced even more by it failing that test. Next, we check response. Pretty good. Hey. And squawk. That's okay. I can blow hard and loud and tongue hard, and the squawk doesn't happen. So, this read failed several of the tests, and it passed some. Let's try another one. Another read has all four needed crows to make a code crow. We put it in the oboe and run the tests. Let's see if it's the same or different. First one is B to B. Okay, it was a little hard to start the note, but once I got it going, the B to B is fine. It's in tune. Okay, how about E minor? Not bad, a little hard to start again, but the E minor ends up being the B natural is okay and the C is low enough. It's maybe right in place. I might like it a little lower, but it's not actually failing, so that's fine. Next, next test would be A to E. <laughs> Sounds good to me. How about F to G flat? Again, not our favorite. Okay, how about response? Uh-oh, no response on low D and G at all. And how about swap test? No, it's passing the squawk. So again, this read passes some, but fails several. And it's not our favorite sounding read. Indicative by it failing some tests. Well, let's try a third read. Again, as a code crow. Put it in the oboe and see what we got. Hey, right in place. The B's where it belongs. I'm not adjusting. E minor. Good. The, e's, the C is a little bit low in E minor. It could be lower, really, but it's close. Not bad. Um, how about A to E? Nice. Sounds like a chord to me. F to G flat. Finally. We've got one that's sort of where it belongs for good tone focus. How about response? Lovely. Easy to do. And squawk. Oh, I heard a hint of a squawk on that. Let's try it again. Oh, it must have been a fluke. It's a pretty close read. So that, to me, would be usable if I wanted to question that squawk and I might possibly lower the E minor, then I go to my printed material and see what it is I need to alter.